guys i am chrissy poo back with another video so this time i got a v part wig you guys that was sent to me from another amazon seller so this is so beginner friendly you guys it's not even funny all you got to do is just literally cut the lace on this and just slap it on your head or clip it in whatever you want to say now taking this wig out the pack you guys it felt so good it was nice and soft i did realize that you had to cut the lace in order to make it a v-part wig it comes with clips in it you guys so you can literally just wear some cornrows and clip it right on in or you could just have your hair in a straight back ponytail and clip it on but i believe this wig was 18 um inches you guys but just check out this video until the end and as per usual if you watch any of my other videos i will explain everything once i have installed it so go ahead click the subscribe button you guys like this video and leave me some comments down below i'll talk to you later you guys so this is my final look um i hope you guys can hear me clearly because i have my air conditioner on but um oh my goodness you guys like i wasn't expecting this from this v-part wig just because i'm just not crazy about them but i am in love with this one you guys i am in love with it so as you can see um i tried to give y'all a look of how it will look when it's dry versus when it's wet i did um I wet some of it in the sink, you guys, because I looked all around the house and I could not find my spray bottle. But, um, yeah, you guys. So, this is how it looks when it's wet. Um, oh, my goodness. Yeah, so this is how it looks when it's wet. So, um, when I initially um, took the wig out the bag, you guys, you did notice a little shedding, but um, that part that I actually showed you of like how much hair actually came out, that actually came from me cutting, um, I guess the lace, if you will, off of this wig. I did not, I, I did not know that when they send you the wig, it still comes as like a wig, and you have to cut it yourself into the actual V part. I did not know that, but um, when I cut it. Some of the hairs was like in the part of where I cut. So I didn't cut it the greatest, you guys. In other words, I didn't cut it the greatest. Um, so some of that shedding, a lot of that shedding was from me cutting it. But it did shed previously before I did cut it. I just did. I, I don't want y'all to think that all that hair came out of it shedding. It actually came out of um, me cutting it or whatever. But anyway, you guys, so it's pretty much a 1B wig with some highlights in it. I absolutely love it, you guys. I actually think that I like it better 
um dry than what i do wet i do prefer it better dry like i said this is really not what i expected so let me get myself together because i was running around looking for that, <laughs> that water bottle but it was the amazon wig company you guys that sent me this wig so i'll put that on the screen because i cannot the amazon store name is not like uh i can't pronounce it so <laughs> i will put that on the screen for you guys but let me um go ahead and pull it up i don't know why i'm never prepared for y'all but yeah so you guys like i wasn't i didn't plan on i wanted to do two reviews this this today um for two different wigs but i actually like this on my head and i don't want to take it off i was not expecting for it to uh like look so good like i wasn't you know really crazy about this wig you know but it definitely changed my mind because literally all you have to do you guys is just you know make you a cute little part like you saw me do poof out your hair there's two ways to do this you guys this is like the no kind of like no leave out method and there's a leave out method so it my hair was already cornrowed you guys that's literally the only reason why i didn't do no leave out method and like summertime my hair acts crazy so but it actually probably would match this texture if you know i did take it out so if you chose to take out your hair and have leave out all you would need to do is you know put like i've seen people spray water on their hair and then i know my hair usually like um curls up a little bit like this when i put jam on it so maybe try putting water and jam on it and then it'll probably change your curl pattern kind of look like this so i think that will kind of um blend in very well for you guys but if not you could just kind of like my cornrows are actually really really tight but if you do loose, looser cornrows and then just kind of fluff out your head in this area, it'll actually cover up like the um, the part of the wig that obviously you're trying to cover up. But anyway, you guys, like I said, I'm going to put the um, store link down below. I'm going to put it on the screen as I'm looking at it. So this is what I'm looking at, you guys. Like this picture is exactly what the wig looks like, you guys. Um yeah so as you can see it kind of shows that you do have to cut it right there i'm gonna put the slides on the screen so you do have to um cut it you guys so it's a highlight ombre v part human hair wig um it's kinky curly 100 150 percent density and this is yeah i got they sent me 18 inches it's 1B30. So this one that I have in my head is 1B30. They have 16 inches. Um, the one I have, you guys, is only $90. So the ones uh, with lower inches, obviously, is cheaper than that. They have 16, 20. The 20 inches is $130. The 22 inches is $160. And I'm rounding up, you guys. That's not the exact price. I'm rounding up. The 24 inches is 180. The 26 inches is about 200. The 28 inches is 240. The 30 inches is 280. So the pricing isn't bad, you guys. You probably just would, you know, get like a short one. Like this is cute. This is really cute. It's summertime right now, so you don't want nothing that's like extremely long on you. I know I didn't. So I'm thinking about actually keeping this in. Um let me see i'm trying to think of what i didn't tell you guys so i told you if you leave leave out then i told you what to do with that but you don't have to you know have leave out if you don't want to like i literally just snapped this on i will say i was having <laughs> i was having if you look at the video i was having a difficult time trying to snap it onto my hair i'm not really sure why like i said i did my cornrows extremely tight because i do Y'all, I do wigs back to back normally. Like, I don't even really wear my hair out most of the time. So, I just keep my hair cornrowing. So, I did it really tightly because, obviously, I want it to last for a while. But, yeah. So, I tried this other method. But, this, the way that they have the wig, you guys, you can't really get in between it. But I was trying to use like the crochet, if you understand what I'm saying. 
um to crochet through to try to bring some hair through so that you could uh pull it out that way and have you know no leave out that way and it'll blend even easier but yeah you guys so this is 18 inches it's kind of drying out now it's still slightly damp but it's pretty much almost dry so i really like the dry look i probably will keep this on my head you guys i thought i was going to do another review today but if i did that other review then i would have to keep that on my head and i really really like this like this is so cute yeah But yeah, you guys, so go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of wig ready, wig review videos, especially from Amazon. Like right now, Amazon is blowing up on their wigs, especially on TikTok. It's like everybody buys wigs from Amazon. Everybody reviews wigs from Amazon. So go ahead, subscribe to my channel. Like this video, you guys. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I feel like... I feel like this video is really short, you guys, just because, you know, all you literally got to do is plop this thing on your head. Um, but, yeah, let me know if there's anything that I didn't tell y'all because I feel like I'm leaving something out and I don't understand. <laughs> but, yeah, um, anyway, like this video, subscribe to my channel, you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.